there is a new investigation. So we took an undercover camera, drugs, guns, and DUIs. When I first met Terry, we're not attempting to be judgmental. She was taking on the dog-eat-dog -dog world of politics, Rabbit. proving how easy it was to register to vote. Well, I would like to introduce you to some of the newest registered voters in Oklahoma City. Meet Zipper Watkins. Yep, a registered voter. How'd that happen? Yes, that's me she sent in to sign up for a story that made it to the state capitol. We ought to have a system in place to require identification to register. It was not the first time Terry caught the attention of a governor. In the early 90s, she led the charge looking into illegal campaign contributions to David Walters. And I've decided not to be a candidate for governor in 1994. But it was another member of Walters' staff Terry demanded the truth from. State Treasurer Claudette Henry's office was rocked by scandal after her top aide embezzled millions of dollars. That's a prerogative of mine. Anything else? I will not take any questions from Terry Watkins. Others, however, simply couldn't avoid her. Terry Watkins with Channel 5. We've talked on the phone. This is Mrs. Brazel. We need to solve this problem. Oh, hi, Terry. Hi, are you going to come down you? and talk to us afterwards? Oh, Should he have been doing that? Absolutely not. We made a mistake. And many who've Could made mistakes wrong, turn to Terry, like, like Tommy Alsa. And I want to do whatever I can to, in my words, make it right. An adjunct general with the National Guard, who, yeah, on camera, so admitted to Terry for the first time to filing fake death claims. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds almost like you're ready to plead guilty to a charge. I am guilty of something, Terry. Terry's reports on city workers kept them honest on the job. They are sitting in the parking lot, reading the newspaper they bought at the last store. They read and sit, and read and sit, and sit and read for 55 minutes. Her this investigation into bus happen. routes kept your kids safe. Just down the road is another bridge. It's a 10-ton limit bridge. Well, the bus we saw crossing it is like this one. It weighs 13 tons. She even dug up a little dirt on herself. Turnabout's fair play. This is my fridge. This probably ought to come out. But like all Oklahomans, Terry's life and her career changed forever on an April morning. Can we, uh, can, let, let's just pick it up and come along with me because that's, this is just one of those things we're going to deal with on live TV. In the months and years that followed, Terry tracked Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols like no other. Here, to the AOK Pawn Shop in Wichita, Kansas. Will you allow her to testify if she doesn't get immunity? Two of them put the truck here at Geary Lake, north of Harrington, Kansas. Even McVeigh noticed Terry's work, writing her from prison at least 10 different times. Everybody's running around the newsroom screaming, holding it up, going, find Terry, find Terry. This says it's from Timothy McVeigh. She was not trying to become his pen pal. Terry Watkins okay. wanted Watkins. answers for the victims, the survivors, for all Oklahomans. I believe God gave Terry Watkins that fiery red hair for a reason. After all, she's the one who asked the burning questions. We're leaving The ones now. that can one day make your blood boil. I've got to ask why. Why did it happen? And the next day melts your heart. And oh, the horses. Oh, good heavens, the horses. Go to another field. And no one's ever done both better. Terry Watkins. Terry Watkins. Terry Watkins. I witness News 5. All indications are there is still an ongoing federal investigation.